Yep, while we're waiting for the last stragglers to come in, this is, as those of you who have been here before knows, my favorite time of the user meeting, where we get to announce the winners of the competition and let them tell us how they solved the problems and made APL do the hard work. So first, Brian will give us an introdu introduction to the competition this year. And then for the first time, we have the professional winner of the competition at the user meeting. So he'll give us a talk about what he did. And then we get to the student winner at the end. So Brian. Thank you, Gitta. Ah, well, this is also, well, I, I'm not sure that it's my favorite time, but it's pretty darn close. My favorite time is just being able to see all of you folks, uh, especially after such a long hiatus. But so this year, um, we held the 14th annual APL problem solving competition. And so this is our fourth year where we've actually hosted the uh, contest website ourselves. And it's a my server based website at contest.dialog.com. You can go out to it and see what the problems were for this uh, past year or register for next year. So, um, and then as we've done in the past several years, we have two phases to the competition. The first phase is uh, uh, 10 one problems that should be able to be solved in a fairly simple one line of APL code. And then this year we had six phase two problems uh, consisting of 12 tasks. And these are generally more complex problems. And one of the things we added this year was some basic interactive syntax checking. So when somebody uploaded a phase two solution, we would scan it and, made sure, and make sure that there were functions in there that were of the appropriate valence uh, for the competition. This way we could if they got something wrong, mis misspelled name or something, or the valence wasn't right, we could give them some immediate feedback. Contest at dialogue.com itself, it's a standard off the shelf dialog my server Docker container. And um, so it's running my server 3.1 under dialog 18.0. And it uses a number of our utilities, HTTP command, the cryptographic library Kaga, and so on. And then we also use Adam's uh, safe executor, which basically allows us to execute APL expressions in a safe sandbox. And then we're also using some in industry standard tools, Docker and Git and Jenkins and so on. This year we had 88 participants, meaning that we had at least 88 people that submitted correct submissions. Uh, you know, we probably had a couple of hundred registrants not everybody submitted anything. And this year we had 29 uh, folks from the US. We had 16 countries have uh, one representative each. Um, the, uh, Italy had nine, uh, the UK had six, um, Canada had five. So, so, so all of these graphs I'm, I'm producing using Sharpplot, which is a, a graph, uh, graphical generation tool uh, that comes with dialogue, and I can just throw data at it and do really good uh, high resolution plots. So this is by date from the start of the from the start of the competition to the end, how many submissions? So the orange line is the number of submissions, and the blue line is the number of submitters. And you can see it's kind of expected we're going to have a high interest rate at the very beginning, and then kind of go along and then just before the deadline, people rush to submit uh, their, their entries. And then if we look at the cumulative number of submissions, again, high slope, eh, it's kind of going long and then high slope. And one of the things I like to look at is um, by problem number of one through 10 in phase one, how many solutions were submitted. And again, people show a lot of interest early on and then it starts to you know, by this time, uh, you know, 38 people have gotten bored and, and given up the ghost. Um, this year we sent out follow-up emails and asked some specific questions. One was, how, what did you think of phase one? 
And of course, I'm cherry picking these responses, so they're all going to be positive. And, and, and in general, all the responses were positive. Uh, but I will just uh, um, share what uh, some of the participants had to say. And then we also asked about phase two. And interesting, um, one of the things we tried to do this year was to incorporate some real world style problems. And, um, you know, and somebody thinks they're boring. I think real world problems are the fun ones to solve because uh, they actually solve real problems. And then problem six wasn't array oriented at all, and it wasn't. Um, but uh, it was, it, that was the one that people had the hardest time with. And um, if you want to know what it is, you can go out to the site and see. Um, but it was, uh, it was uh, Adam and I solved it. We came up with different answers. And then we realized what each had done uh, wrong and uh, came up with the right answer. So it was a tough problem. So one of the things we'd like to ask you to do is to be a part of the effort, right? Uh, and we submit problem ideas. If you have an idea for what you think might make a good APL contest problem, then contact me and I can give you guidelines for what we look for in, in, uh, pr in problems. And please encourage and refer students to participate. If a student, student you refer wins a cash prize, you receive the same amount. So, and you can refer multiple uh, recipients. So if you refer every winner, you'll make out like a bandit. So, and then you know, spread the word again uh, at your local schools and universities, computer clubs, random people on the street, tell them about the competition. And, um, and then all of the previous phase one and phase two problem sets are available on the Dialog website. And Rich Park has done an excellent job of putting these, uh, all the phase one problems uh, up on problems.triapl.org. So, and the other thing is you can be a sponsor um, or be a beta tester. We try and, when we develop the contest, problems, we send them off to a group of beta testers to find out were they too hard, were the descriptions ambiguous, whatever, and we try and get some feedback before we release, uh, unleash the problems on the world. So um, there are a lot of people and organizations that go into making the competition possible. And so first of all, to our sponsors, uh, you know, I, again, thank you for your support for 14 years. Uh, it's uh, we couldn't do the competition without, without your support. And to our beta testers, um, again, the, they help improve the quality of the competition. And then our team, uh, Fiona, again, she doesn't like the credit, but she does an awesome job of kind of herding us in the right direction to get the competition out and on time. Uh, Adam is, and Rich and Michael uh, have been terrific in helping develop the problems and in, in the judging. Jason keeps everything running, and without GitHub's endorsement, uh, we wouldn't be doing this. So uh, again, thank you all. And so the good part here in the winners. So the full list of winners is available on the Dialog website. We give out 10 uh, $100 prizes to the top phase one participants. We give five $200 prizes to random phase two participants. So even if you only solve one problem in phase two, you stand a chance of winning a prize. And the third place prize for student entries of $750 goes to last year's winner, uh, Zinters Klus uh, from Latvia. Uh, second place prize, $1,250, goes to uh, Rory Kemp in the UK. The top non-student entry uh, and who won a delegate package to this, uh, this user meeting is Michael Higginson, who will be speaking shortly uh, from Canada. And the grand prize, which is $2,500 and an expenses paid trip to Dialogue 22, is, uh, I hope I get this right, Zi uh, Chul Ching. Um, I had, I had um, uh, him pronounce his name on a recording on my phone, and I've been trying to practice, but my nervousness got the better of me, so if I butchered your name, you have my profuse apologies. But with that said, I'd like to invite 
uh, both winners that are here up so we can give you your certificates. And then Michael, I'll turn the stage over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yes, uh, in uh, Chinese, or you always say family name first, but for the co oh, English okay. convention, I put it at last. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So, Lee Chu Ching, yeah. congratulations on winning this competition.